Hello and welcome to this special day, 25th anniversary. No other wedding quite says Power Rangers and Lord Zed and Rita Repulsa getting married. Um, when I watched this as a kid, Power Rangers, um, you know, they start with Rita as the bad guy. She's quite bad. Then she got replaced by an even badder, badder, Lord Zed. And then the two of them were thrown together. It was just epic. Absolutely epic. Um, and hilarious. There were some hilarious moments with these two. Um, right up to the end of Zeo, as far as I'm concerned. Zeo is probably my favorite when they were kind of like um, rebel bad guys. Um, I, I really loved them in their little camper van and stuff. It was just brilliant. So to get this set um, is, is really nice. Um, I got it from comics and cocktails. I was, um, I'm not sure what happened. Usually I'm really good and I, I pre-order everything that I want immediately so I don't have to try and fight for it later. However, I didn't pre-order this at all and um, I was um, grasping at straws last week saying, oh my goodness, what on earth have I done? Um, but luckily Comics and Cartels had some spare stock, so um, I got lucky and I, ma I managed to order it last week. Uh, we got the usual quality art on the side. We got Rita this side, and then we got Zed that side. Very, very nice. On the top, we just got Power, Mighty Mod Power Rangers there. We got the lightning strike in the middle, and then we've got the, the kind of, um, what's the word I'm looking for? What's that bread? Bourbon. No, not bourbon. Burn, Bernadette. Ah, oh, it's going to bug me now. I hope you understand what I mean. Um, and here's the promo shot on the back. Very, very nice. The horror of your presence is absolutely required at the marriage of Rita Repulsa and Lord Zed. Which is, um, I dig a great deal. So let's get them out of the packaging. Oh, nothing beats a good wedding, right? So here we are. I've got some putties in the background, and then we've got um, Rita and Zed doing their nuptials, and Goldar's, I don't know, being the reverend or the celebrator or whatever you want to call him. Um, now, if we had a Vinster figure, I would make Goldar Zed's best man, because that would just be quality. Um, I'd have to watch the episodes again and see how that that worked, but um, it, it would make perfect sense. Ooh, sorry, putty. So here they are together. It's um, a nice set. I mean, we've Hasbro are getting on my nerves a little bit in terms of the way they're releasing um, figures. I mean, we got Lord Zed in Wave One. I understand from a business perspective they want to make the most out of this, and this is a, a perfect business strategy. The the way that they're treating this. However, um, it feels like they're neglecting their fans a little bit. They're not showing us perhaps a respect that we deserve. We are, I'm in the UK, exclusives are becoming harder to come by, um, Psycho Green being one of them, uh, SPD Omega Ranger being another, and you know, I can only hold my breath that they end up over here through a vendor or by sheer, sheer luck and I don't have to pay a ridiculous price for them. Um, because it's not right that we are being treated this way. Um, so to get the blue psycho as well and to get the red psycho and then they give us a five pack. It's, it's a kick in the teeth for people that have invested with thinking that Hasbro are doing the best plan that they could for their fans. But they're clearly not at all. Now, um... One of the reasons that I brought this. Um, now I'm selling my old Zed figure because I don't need to. Oh, being this, I was going to make multiple shelves, um, which I don't think I will because I, I don't intend to. Now this reader is an absolutely beautiful, beautiful figure. I love the artwork on the body armor up here. Uh, come on. Sorry, that was terrible, guys. I was trying to show the face without it doing that. Um, the body armor is really nice. Some really nice detail on there. 
and all the way around. And it's just attached by what looks like a little, little bit of a thing there, which you plug in. The hair's really nice. I dig the hair. Hair looks perfect. Um, now on the clothes, um, some people were saying that, oh, in the show it's gold on the cloth. Um, but I guess because this is their silver wedding anniversary, they've decided to do it like this. Um, I'm not really bothered. It's got the markings that I would expect on there. So, I have no issue. She's got lovely jewelry going down. And wrist jewelry. On both hands. Um, it would have been nice on the left hand. They made it um, a bit more specific for a wedding ring. Or some form of gem. I don't know. Whatever they want to do. She comes with some flowers. Oh, sorry. Um, and then we got this nice little tail feather. Which is cool. And then underneath the body, it's just literally this up a bit it's literally just a, a simple body no big deal there which is cool I'm happy with that I have no issues with that now what I do have an issue with is that they've spent a lot of time making the figure good and even the face is awesome I, I when you see pictures you think, oh man that's it's just awful why would they do that but it's not it's not that bad um, I would have liked some l laughing rear faces or something I don't know um, but one thing that, that peed me off it completely, the staff, underpainted staff, lots of lovely detail on the staff, where was the paint on it? Why has that bit been let down? Did they run out of budget or something? Um, totally peeved off about that bit. Um, it's not the end of the world if you are good at that stuff, but people like me, there's a reason I buy figures, so I don't have to do this stuff, because I'm not good at it. So, but other than that, it is a nice stuff. It's the stuff that we deserve. I would have liked the bottom bit to be a bit sharper, but it's not the end of the world. Um, and like I said, it does look nice, but other than the paint bit. Damn it. Really irritated by that. The other thing I'm going to say is that they've done really, really well on the accessories with these figures. Now, Lord said comes with all the accessories he originally came with uh, except with the bum this time they've painted in the red in the middle i think this bit's proper but i'm not sure about the top bit i think that doesn't make sense and then uh rita comes with her love potion which is what she originally used to um get set to marry her <laughs> um also you get the green crystal shard that was um, pivotal to Tommy losing his powers. You can see a green candle coming out, and you get this lovely, beautiful, beautiful wedding cake. You got a, a Z on the top and a reed on the top, and it just looks like the palace with a spider. So I think that's kind of cool. So I like that. Um, sorry, that went a bit blurry. We also have some hands. So we have two extra sets of hands for um, Rita, so one is the open pan which she's got on now and she's got a closed fist and a kind of open hand where she can hold her staff or the bouquet uh, said we got the light in the fit except in the original it was red and we get the two extra hands however this time Hasbro uh, and this must have been where their budget went they painted the, <laughs> the fingernails on Zed which is Come on. Oh, man, you're not going to do it, are you? There we go, okay. That's about the best I'm going to get it, because it's going to drive me nuts. Um, which, to be fair, when I first got the Z, I didn't really moan about it. And remember, it's, it's a £20 figure, you know. you got to allow some things to slip out of budget before they go over budget per figure as well. So there's that, that as well. Here is the original Z that came out, so um, there really is no difference other than the fingertips on the end. Um, just so you can see, there's the ones that we got with the original Z. And um, even the staffs, I thought this was going to be a, perhaps a little bit more metallic, but it hasn't turned out that way. So I'm slightly disappointed in that. Uh, other than that, um, pretty much the same figure, although this bit seems to be 
popping out a little bit more than this original one did. But other than that, still quite a figure. I'm trying to see if there's any difference in tones on the body. But if there is, it's not really showing up too much. So, there we have it. That's the two of them together. The other thing that I just wanted to make you aware of, just be careful of the arm. I'm not sure if you can see it. It's it's not the strongest female arm there could be for a Hasbro body. And when you've got the cloth off, you don't necessarily know where the joints are. So just uh, just be careful because I feel if you if you are a little bit rough, you could end up breaking the arm. And I'm sure you don't want to do that. And because you didn't demand it, here is the Kimberly head from that episode where they tried to make it into Rita, which was absolutely bizarre. And uh, the head doesn't fit on there perfectly. What are you doing? Phone. Oh, goodness. Sorry. Um, it didn't feel, It doesn't fit on there perfectly. You just kind of rest it on there if you ever wanted to do that. But if you do that, it's because you're strange. Nobody wants Kimberly's head on a Rita's body. Unless they're obsessed with Kimberly. You could be. You may need help. And then another one of my favorite things. Now I think in season two, um, Zed continued to throw down his um, growth bombs. However, in series three, maybe they thought they would make a, a stronger, bigger monster by um, using both their powers. So um, I always enjoyed... Uh, make our monster grow using their staffs together. That was always um, a highlight of each episode for me. And they just look really good together, don't they? So, I hope you enjoyed the wedding as much as I did. Goldar is looking forward to being in charge of some putties. Uh, Rita and Zed are going to have some cake in Serpentera. Uh, make sure you get a slice before it's all gone. It's beautiful, I hear. Uh, like, comment, subscribe, follow me on Facebook, my page is SmurdP, follow me on Twitter, at SmurdP, no idea what I'm doing there, tweeting and stuff, oh, who cares, and embrace the geekiness, take care, goodbye.